All right, what is going on guys? Turner here and today uh, I look a little bit different. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but today what I'm actually super excited to bring you guys is my official 2020 converted van tour. Uh, and it is cold outside. And oh yeah, by the way, this is a uh, this is my Halloween costume. I'm Lil Xan. But again, not the not the point of today's video. You know, my life is about to change for the better 100% because we're gonna be traveling the United States very, very soon. Now, when we got it, it was not in the best condition. The previous owner actually transported dogs, specifically Great Danes, from Massachusetts to Kansas and then back. And you could definitely tell dogs had lived in this van primarily beforehand. With no prior carpentry experience whatsoever, I learned how to do flooring, build a desk, take out seats, just do so much that I, I can't can't even explain. So without further ado, let's just get into it. This is my official Dodge Ram 1500 conversion van fully converted tour. So up first, I might as well show you guys the main cabin which is definitely a place with the fewest amount of adjustments, a very important place nonetheless. Now, as you guys can see, this is pretty standard looking other than the fact that in the middle of the cabin, I have two very important parts of this van build. And that is going to be my refrigerator and my toilet. But we'll get to this part alongside the uh, most important part of the tour, which is going to be the living area. But other than that, the front is a pretty standard van cabin, pretty much what you can expect from even just a tiny home van to a regular van. It is just the place that we use for driving we don't really chill up here. It is just what makes this a van. All right, and I definitely can't forget this part because this is a pretty cool part of this van. So as you guys can see on the ceiling of the front cabin, you see this little panel, which controls the lights that are found back there. So upon flipping any one of these up, as you guys can see, we can just flip all of them up. And then the result are these super vibey lights. And right next to this panel, we see also lights that hang overhead, which are synonymous to the circular lights next to the infinity lights on the back ceiling. So that's basically the entirety of the cabin. Like I said, it's pretty normal and synonymous to a regular van. And what you guys are waiting for is definitely the most anticipated part of this. This is going to be the living space where I edit, where I work, where I have my desk, where I sleep, where I do basically everything. It's not actually my kitchen. I have a different setup for my kitchen that is pretty unique to most van lifers, but we'll get to that. So right now I'm actually located in the very center of the van. And if I was to stand up, just to give you guys a estimate of height for this thing, um, it's not the tallest thing. I mean, I can stand with my head crooked. While this van's pretty compact and I don't mind the only downfall is the fact that I can't stand up all the way. But other than that, I love this entire thing. So starting with the front portion, my most recent YouTube video was my toilet video. So right in the cabin is this toilet. Now I showed you guys, this is just an easy fold out toilet that uh, allows you to go on the go. So right next to the toilet where I would usually put this would be in between the fridge and the driver's seat. We have my refrigerator. This is nearly identical to a cooler in the way that it functions. On the side, you see a little handle and when you just bring that up, you can open the fridge. And what I use to power this thing at all times because this runs at about 150 watts and also power like everything else that I need to in the van, whether that be the fridge, my laptops, charging phones, or power my switch or the television that you guys see right here, which is actually my old gaming monitor, is this 1000 watt Jackery power station. But for $1,000, however, I think this is a great deal because this is how I power 100% of everything I'm doing on the road and being a digital nomad and working from this tiny home and working from this van it's essential that I have all the power I need at all times of the day. And while it's pretty big and heavy to hold, it really doesn't take up too much room when I just hide it behind these blackout curtains that I have right here. And so from going to the ground to the ceiling, I wanna get into the entertainment side of the van. And so that's gonna be going to the old gaming monitor that I mounted as a TV and a entertainment station, an entertainment area, a movie theater. I guess a movie theater because we can watch movies and we have these cool lights above us. Now it probably goes without saying that converting this van wasn't easy, but perhaps the most difficult thing that I had to do while converting this thing is mounting this television. Now, the area behind this TV, as you guys can see, is very tough to work with because it is such a small space, making it easily not the most ideal 
carpentry space. And so then right next to the monitor, as you guys can see, I have these blackout curtains. And so with all of that being included in the tour, I feel like that is the main part or basically the entirety of the front. And so I think with very good timing, that would transition us to the center as we finish with the front. I'm literally falling as I'm talking. Oh my God. And so the next thing I want to talk about, which was again, one of the other hardest parts of this conversion was the floor. Let me just sit down here. All right, story time. So when I bought this van, it actually came with four four seats and then the bench bed conversion. However, I did not want the two seats in the center. So after taking them out, I was left with a very ugly shag rug uh, in gray. And then these two crazy metal mounts that unapologetically extruded themselves from the floor. And I definitely wanted to take those out ASAP. So after a lot of thought, I figured that the best thing to do for the floor and to make this feel like the most of a home that it could was to do hardwood flooring. But I think the end result was easily nothing short of amazing. And as you guys can see this is the end result of what the floor looks like i think just the floor really tied this whole thing together to make this thing look like a real tiny home so moving back through the van next up we have the bench slash bed conversion So as you guys see right now, I'm sitting on a bench, but I can change that very easily and make that a bed by just pulling the handle underneath. And so all you have to do is pull it, lift it up, and then turn it into a bed super simply. And then you have a very nice place to sleep. Now I'm a YouTube video editor, as a lot of you guys know, and that's what I do full time. So I need a comfortable space to edit YouTube videos. And that's when my desk comes in. So as you guys can see, uh, I have this thing that I mounted to the wall, which allows for a fold out desk. So when I'm working, it is more common than not that I will have my laptop here, maybe a cup of coffee, my mouse, and this thing is the perfect size for that. And is a combination of two foldable L brackets and then a stair wood piece that I found at Home Depot. And then when I'm done doing that, all I have to do is push in these two brackets, lift this thing up a little bit and then set it down. And it goes very flat into the wall and really doesn't take up any space. And so not to toot my own horn or anything, but along with the floor and along with this desk, I think I did pretty good in doing all the carpentry for this setup. And because storage is important, there is a lot stored underneath this bench. And that would bring me into my kitchen setup. So because I don't have the biggest conversion van, I needed to really maximize my space, especially with a kitchen. And so how I cook, how I make coffee, and really just how I eat outside of this van is very important. And also I have a extreme coffee addiction. So underneath this bench, once you lift up this gray flap, first of all, the first thing you see of course is my coffee box, which is everything I need to make coffee. And then I have a portable grill, which I can just reach in behind me and find this. And now I would never cook in my van because I don't want a hot box propane in my van, of course. And so because of that, I have a fold out kitchen table, which I would just reach under here and pull out like this. So I'll come outside. Uh, all right. So I'll come outside and then just show you exactly how my kitchen setup works. It's truly a very simple process to make this thing into a kitchen table. So first off, all you want to do is unclip this like so, and then unfold it. So after just a few folds, you are left with no longer what is looking like a briefcase. You have a beautiful wooden table. And so now that we are at the table, my portable grill is in this little box. And once I undo it, so once I undo the container to my portable grill, we see this and uh, the portable grill will just come right out. And all of this combined allows for a very nice kitchen on the go that does not involve any construction whatsoever to the van itself. And so that's my extremely easy and very convertible kitchen setup. I've never had any flaws with it. I mean, if it's raining, it makes it a little tough, but then I can just order takeout and it's not too complicated. And I actually haven't seen a kitchen setup like this for another van lifer on YouTube. So I think this is a pretty cool setup that I have going on that, uh, I don't know, it's just awesome. And actually funny enough, since it's Halloween, as I said at the beginning, I actually have to go do Halloween things. And I really wouldn't mention that in this video other than the fact that when I get back, it'll be a day in the future for me. And then I will not have these beautiful face tattoos that I have anymore. So I figured I just needed to mention the weird cut in this video. But all right, happy Halloween. This has been fun and I'll see you guys in one second. All right. 
All right, and just like that, after one second, we are back two days later. Now, of course, you can probably tell, first off, I don't have my face tattoos, and honestly, I was actually getting used to them, but uh, they are now gone, as we can obviously see. So I think since we just finished the kitchen, it would probably be best to start with the back garage. So without further ado, now we are gonna be getting right into the garage slash back part of the van. All right, and so here we are right in the back of the van. Now, this is the area where I keep my skateboards, my clothes, and a few miscellaneous items. Also, I keep this super cool light right here that uh, I use as a lantern when I'm out at night. It's, it's battery powered, don't let me fool you, but it is very cool. Also, it's freezing out here, so we're just gonna try to get through it. But yeah, this is a very cool lamp that I keep for both in the van and out of the van when I'm traveling at night. You know, lamp things. Also, I got these really cool jeans. Hold on, I, this is so random. I got these really cool jeans. I mean, the patchwork on these things is just crazy, but that is not part of this van tour. That is just to do with my clothes. So as you guys can see, the back part of my van is a bit of just a random assortment of things that don't really fit anywhere else. So right off the bat, you guys see a bunch of coats hanging up from North Face to rain coats to stuff from Golf Wang. I mean, it's just, it's just a few coats that I can access from the front if I'm going outside. And then as we go down, completely unrelated to coats, we see my skateboard and my longboard, which is held on tight by a towel. And that just acts as something to keep them still because there's no friction on it, so they're not gonna slide around. And I know most people refer to van life garages as having like, I don't even know, a motorcycle. Like way more industrial things than just skateboards. But yeah, I just have my longboard and my skateboard that make up my garage. Then you guys see my ukulele and then go down to a blanket and a lantern. Again, this is really just a storage area. Nothing here relates to one another. And then you guys see a portable desk, a pillow, some shirts, some tools, and my solar panel. And all of this really makes up for just a super nice, convenient, and compact storage area. I also have these pretty cool pockets that are located on the downside of my door. I haven't exactly used them to the best of their ability yet. There's nothing in them at all, but they will come in time. Now, the fact is this van does fall short in size, but it doesn't really matter because I've used storage to the best of my ability. And you can really see that from the back part of the van. All right, and with all that being said, I'm pretty sure that just about concludes the tour. Also, when filming today, definitely did not account for daylight savings time because it is about 3.30. Like, I'll just flip my camera. Look at how dark it is already getting for 3.30 and the sun is setting. That's just crazy to me. So just to wrap it up here, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and do all that. So to anyone who wants to purchase any of the van life related items that I mentioned in the video, this has not been sponsored by any company. However, every link will be in the description that I can find. I know when I was trying to get into van life, it was pretty hard to find all of the products. So for any aspiring van lifers, I've got you. So for traveling videos, vlogs, and more van life content, definitely be sure to follow the journey. But with all that being said, my name is Ben Turner. You guys have been YouTube and I am freezing. So I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.